back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm doing a camera unboxing with you guys and I'm so excited because I've been waiting to open this camera for like two weeks now. And I don't think that I've ever done a camera unboxing on my channel before, but if you guys follow along with my vlogs, which if you're not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe by clicking down below. But I broke, broke the camera that I'm on right now. I don't exactly know what happened. Well, I know what happened. I spilled coffee all over it and it got soaking wet and it just like stopped working for a day or two. And with my wedding coming up, which again, if you wanna see all things wedding related, make sure that you guys are subscribed. But with my wedding coming up, I wanted to make sure that I had a really, really nice camera. And I just really didn't wanna risk the audio being wrong with this or anything like that. So I just went ahead and bought a new camera. As you can tell by the title of this video, I got the Canon EOS M50 Mark II, which I am super excited about. And honestly, that's enough rambling. So like, let's just get right into it. So the camera that I have right now that I'm filming this video on is the Canon G7X Mark II, which I love. I love this camera. I think it's great, but this is definitely a little bit of an upgrade. So I am super, super, excited for it let's go ahead and open her up i got this like two weeks ago and i've been patiently waiting to sit down to film this video because i've just been so busy and so stressed so comes with a bunch of papers that nobody really reads or anything so i'm just gonna put those over there it comes with the little carrying strap which i don't tend to use these at all so i probably will just leave this in the box, but it's a nice option to have to put on your camera. Looking in here, here she is. I'm so excited. So I, like I said, got the M50 Mark II, which is the latest edition, and I got it in white. She looks so beautiful. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty she is. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed already. She is just so nice. Look how cute it is. It's so it's like nice and crisp and new looking. I love getting a new camera. It's like my favorite thing in the whole entire world. I'm just I'm so excited for this. So this is the body of the camera. And then if you look in here, I believe this is the lens, I'm assuming anyway. I might wanna upgrade the lens. I know a lot of people upgrade the lens. I know a lot of YouTubers use this camera, the EOS M50, and then get like a nicer lens. And I think that's what I might do is use this and then get a nicer lens. But for right now, I just got the kit lens. I figured that was good enough to last for all of our wedding stuff. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I've never seen, normally lenses are like all black or at least all the lenses that I've had are all black, but this one's like a really pretty silver color. So I need to try and figure out how to get this on. I think you just take this little guy off. There we go. And she's on. So this is what it looks like with the lens on. Again, it is way bigger than my G7X. Like it's definitely a heftier camera, but I think it'll be a nicer quality. And I film a lot of my videos at home anyway. So I think something like this is really nice just to use at home or for sit down videos or, you know, whatever the case is. And if I do want to take my camera out, I can just always take my G7X or I can always use my phone. So it's a nice little option. It's like the perfect size, honestly. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's like the perfect medium-sized camera. It's just a little bit bigger than my G7X, but it like has a nicer grip to it. All right, and then the one thing that I did totally cheat on is I already took the battery out and charged the battery because I wanted to be able to film this all like right now because I knew I was gonna be really excited once I got this thing open. So I am going to open this up and I'll probably have to buy another battery pack. I like having extra battery packs and I have extras of my G7X. I have extra batteries for that. So I'll probably need to buy more for this. Nice little screen. The only thing that's weird is this thing flips out instead of flipping up. Like my G7X flips up. So it's really nice to just like see yourself above the screen. Whereas this flips out, which I feel like is just, I don't know, hard or different to get used to. Push and hold the lens switch in a triangle direction and then rotate the lens to enable shooting. Push and hold the lens switch in. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's working. Okay, let's see how it works. That was, I could not figure out what in the world it was trying to ask me to do. So that's what it looks like from the side with the lens out and then it goes in a little bit. So a little bit bigger once you get that out. Whoa, it is way zoomed in. Okay, let's see if I can record and see what happens. This looks so much, I feel like it looks so much different on this camera versus this camera. And I honestly 
can't tell which one I like better. I think I like my G7X better. Is that weird? Is that bad? Oh my gosh. I'll have both footage in here so that you can kind of like check and see the difference. But honestly, I really can't tell which one I like better. I feel like this one is so zoomed in, which I don't really love. But I feel like if I got like a wider lens, I feel like this one would be really, really nice. So maybe I just need to invest in a wider lens. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I really don't know what to think. And I don't know like what the audio is like. I'm really I won't really know until I like go back to edit this and stuff, but I think it looks really nice. It's different how like much different the coloring looks on this camera compared to this camera. I feel like I watched so many of these videos and people would be like, oh, I love this camera so much. And I definitely am really into it, but I feel like I just need to see the footage and check that stuff out because right now I honestly, I can't tell. I also know the pricing was like kind of similar actually between the two of these, so I'm not sure, we'll have to see. I'm gonna probably film some more vlogs and stuff with this. I could always return this if it's not what I want it to be or whatever, but honestly, I do think it looks really, really nice. It's just a lot different and it's just not what I'm used to, but I love the fact that I can like zoom in now. I think that is so nice and it focuses so much faster than the G7X, that is for sure, because this camera takes forever to focus on things. She's growing on me, I am really into her. It took me a second, but I'm really into her now, and I think to close it, there you go. You just have to push this little switch in and turn it, and then you can close it and stick the lens cap on. And there she is, nice and pretty, I'm really excited. I think this is going to be a great camera, and I can't wait to use it. I'll do some vlogs and stuff. If you guys do keep up with me in my life, my vlogs and stuff, which have been lacking recently, I finished out my school year as a kindergarten teacher in a week, so I will be back to all the frequent uploads once I'm done with school and stuff, and like I said, I'm gonna have so many wedding vlogs and all that good stuff, and I'll be using this camera for all that, and I'll keep you guys updated on if I get like a new lens or a microphone or anything else for her, which we love. Definitely recommend, I do really like it. I just wanna see like the difference between this camera and the G7X because I love that camera so much. But anyway, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed to stay up to date with me and my life and all the things going on. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Ooh.